Hello, Hello, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. My, My name is Corey, Corey Johnson, and, and welcome, welcome to Relationship, relationship Management. Management. Today's topic is going to be about There is no room left on my dinner plate. There is no room left on my dinner plate. And I'm going to teach you this because if you are married, or you got your lovely woman, you don't need to be making friends with men and having them smiling all in your woman's face after you invite them over. Because they will come there just to flirt with your wife and look at your wife ass and pussy. Every chance you get men are nasty, they're disgusting, and men are creeps. So you don't have room. You don't have enough room on your dinner plate to be letting deadbeats in your life. Hello. Hello. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? You, you got, got a perfect life and you have things set. You, you got, got your own schedule and you don't have enough time for nobody's, nobody's bullshit. And, and there's, there's no room on your schedule to fit no other motherfuckers in. To want to climb into your mind and your brain to get, get you to do things big way. You, know, you, don't, you just don't have the fucking time for it. So why would I let you up in my life for it? Yeah, I got a sweet, beautiful wife. Why would I let a man in my life to be my friend so you can flirt and try to fuck my wife? I trust my wife, but I don't trust you. Because you got a lot of people that out there that put a needle in a woman. And, and, and they, they got, got chemicals in there that make, make a lady, lady fall out and fall to sleep and pass out. And, and then men are rape a woman that we are as things that evil people do to you. Food, to you drink, while you're not looking, looking put shit in your refrigerator. So my suggestion to you ladies and gentlemen, you can't trust nobody. You know what I mean? Don't bring nobody up in your life. Especially the ladies, don't. Go making friends with no new women. And the Sam saying? Hey, you got you a sight, and you and your, you and your man or your husband, you know, you are complimenting each other. It's obvious that there's love in the house. That's real true love. And then you have a woman that's inboxing you. You know what I mean? Trying to become your friend. No, she's not trying to become your friend. She's trying to get to your man so she can wind up fucking him. And, and you can't, can't trust no one, woman. you don't have no room in your dinner, dinner plate. You don't have time for bringing some evil people up in your life. You just can't do it. it. You know? And it, it ought to be common sense. sense. If you see a man and a woman is married, don't come up in their inbox talking to them. Because I don't want, want you talking to me. You know what I mean? My wife... You know, enough, enough of my, my wife to think that, that I'm cheating on her or something. something. Kind of out of the common sense. sense. You, you know, know whether you're a man or a lady, you, you see somebody that's married, you just stay the fuck away from them. Stay out of their inbox. And, and if you have somebody that's, you know, coming to your inbox, you got to let them know, hey, I'm married, and my wife wouldn't appreciate this. You know what I mean? Um, hey, I'm a happily married man, you know. I don't, I don't need, need no other men oh, chasing behind me. I don't creep with other men. Stop, Stop coming, coming on to me. me. They, they got men that see that you're married, but they yeah, come up in the inbox. Where are you from? Uh-uh. You, you cut, cut that, that fucking, fucking shit right there. there. You understand? I don't, I don't need trouble. There's, There's troublemakers out there. there. You know what I mean? And, and I don't fucking talk to strangers. Don't come asking me. You have no reason to come asking me no questions. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? Unless, Unless it's business. business. You, you know, know if you're going to come approach a married person, you need to let them know, hey, you, you know, know, I checked out your song. song. I, I like, like your stuff. I want to talk to you about business. business. Is it okay? That's, That's the way you come, come to them. them. But, but don't come creeping in somebody's fucking box. Especially if you're a man, don't come creeping in my motherfucking box asking me where you from. You sound like a bitch or a woman that's fucking trying to get with me or something. I don't fuck around with men, all right? 
I love, I love woman, woman only. only. I'm, I'm married. married. And keep, keep your creepy, creepy fucking ass, ass out my inbox. You know, know what I mean? mean? If, if you, you want to, again, if you want to talk to me about business, let, let me know. Hey, hey I'm, I'm sorry that I came across to you like, like I'm sorry you misunderstood, but hey, I like the talent. This is this, this, this snap. You can tell like that. But if you come at me as though, you know, you want me to be a bar, know where you from and stuff like that, I'm going to cut your fucking neck off right then and there. I'm going to cut, cut your, your fucking, fucking head out. You know, don't fuck, fuck with me that way. way. You're going to respect me. I'm going to respect my wife. You're going to respect my wife. You know, and everybody needs to think this way. way. You need to keep creepy people out of your life. Keep creepy people out of your face. I'm going to tell you, there's no wrong left on my dinner plate for you. You guys have a good day.